All right, we're going out to check on the sheep. Where is she? I'm here. Oh, there she is. She had her babies. We're gonna plant those willow trees that we started in the last vlog. Jimmy. Email wasn't nursing. He just busted through that like a torpedo. She just broke right through that cattle panel. Right, we're going out to check on the sheep because I only see four in the pasture. And when one separates, that's a good sign that they're in labor. So we're going out here to see if we can find the fifth one. Let's see. I saw them this morning over here behind this hay pile. Let's see. I'm not seeing it over here. Where is she? Let's go in the pasture. It's not in here. Oh, there she is. She had her babies. Oh, good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. She had them down near the pond. I hope they can get out of there. I knew it. I had a feeling. Oh, don't step on your baby. Looks like that one was trying to latch on, so that's a good sign. Sophia, look! There's baby sheep! Do you see the babies? No, we can't go near them. We gotta just let her take care of her babies. We don't want to mess up the bonding. Well, hello, Penny. You're the biggest one. I thought you'd have your babies first. Looks like not. Your, your daughter had your ba her babies first. So that one who just had the babies is Penny's baby from last year. So she did really good. Let's see, the other ones are coming to meet them. Let's hope that everyone gets along here and she protects her babies. The only one I'm really concerned about being a threat to her babies is Penny because she's the alpha you. Wow, that's so exciting. Any I've known any day now they were gonna come and I've been coming out here every day so excited and they finally are here. I just wish she didn't have them down in the pond because if they climb up over that hump they're gonna get to water. I'm back out here again checking on them. I put the kids to bed and I have Hilda and Vivian with me. I might just sit out here for a while and make sure they can get up the side of the pond without any help before I go back in. They're looking strong though. They're more light. They dried off more so they're lighter colored and they seem like they keep latching on or trying to latch on, so that's good. So I'm filming on my phone because I forgot to bring my camera out here, so sorry if the video is not as good for this part, but I went, I decided to get them out of there because it was making me uncomfortable that they were in the pond and they could have just gone up over that ridge and they were starting to climb it, so I went down there, the mom ran away because they're really wild, and I picked up the babies and I brought them up the pond and I checked if they're boys or girls because I also really, really wanted to know that. And the bigger one's a girl, which is really good because we're keeping all the ewes, and the smaller one's a boy. So they both seem healthy. The boy is seems quite a bit smaller, but he's still walking around just as well. He's They're both trying to nurse, so I feel like it's fine. So I got him up the side of the hill, and they're just over there standing on the side. So now she can go get water and food without leaving her babies, because I don't think they could have gotten up the side of that pond by themselves. So that's making me feel a lot better. Here we are. So there were three down there at the bottom, so I brought them up the edge. So that's much better. Now they just need to go further away from the pond so they don't fall back in there. I mean, I'll only have to worry about this for a day or two because they'll get nice and sturdy and strong really quickly, but right now they're, right now they're a little wobbly. Other sheep are meeting her babies. She's definitely guarding them well. See that? She's blocking that other sheep from getting too close. Good, she's still guarding against the lead use, so that's that's good. Once they all have their babies, they'll be busy with their own babies and not bothering each other. Oh, look out, someone's going around to your other one.
Hilda is feeling very left out. You stay away from her and her babies. They're trying to figure out life. Taking some hay and grain and water out to her. She did a good job. She deserves a little reward. Yes, she found it. Oh, she found the alfalfa pellets. Good job, honey. Here, my work here is done. I'm gonna go in and have some coffee. Locked up all these other rascals because they kept bothering her and I wanted her to be able to rest. So they're in this little pen. They've got hay and water. And company of the ducks. Especially that one was being ornery to me. <laughs> she headbutted me. You didn't mean it though, did you? Did you mean it? I don't think you meant it. You didn't know what you're doing. You're very grumpy and pregnant, aren't you? Hey, Hilda. Good girl. Good girl, Hilda. It's the next day. We're out here. We're gonna plant those willow trees that we started in the last vlog. So. Luke went and got willow starts or cuttings from his parents' house and we stirred them in water and they have all sprouted so well. I've got Vivian on my back in her little happy baby carrier. I'm just trying out this new carrier. out this little bar. In the fresh Whoa. spot. Ooh, that's kind of like a rock. I think it's just the hard ground. <laughs> Slide it. We just finished having lunch. The kitchen is a wreck behind me, so don't look at that. I still have to clean it today. <laughs> I am going to head back outside and watch that mama and the babies and see if they're nursing. I'm gonna bring the computer out there and do some work. I'm making myself a coffee. Uh, before lunch, we tried to catch the mama because I was worried about the one, the female wasn't nursing. All morning, I've noticed that baby will stand up and go sniff the mama's nose and then she'll lay back down. She's not standing very long. The little boy will like skip around. He seems to have a lot more energy and then he'll go nurse and then he'll lay down. So I was getting worried about the little female, so we were gonna try to catch the mama and force her to latch on, because um, that's when we were growing up, that's what we do when we had that problem. But we put her in the holding pen and she just busted through that like a torpedo. She just broke right through that cattle panel. She bent up the corner of it and got right through. And then she got back up with her babies and just having that um, break them up a little bit, the baby started nursing. It's really hard to tell because you can't really see in there very well. But I heard the suckling noises and its tail was wagging really fast. Those are two really good signs that it's nursing. So I'm hoping that just getting them moving a little bit helped break up the baby's really tiredness uh, and just wanting to lay around. But I'm gonna go out there and sit in a lawn chair with my laptop and coffee and Vivian sleeping on my back. And we're just gonna keep an eye and see how the baby does. And if it doesn't nurse all day, 
We might try to catch him, catch the mama again tonight, which is not going to be very fun. Uh, we might need to get my dad or brother to come help me, help us if we need to catch it again, because she is crazy. They, they're not terribly big, but man, are they wild and fast and strong, <laughs> so it's hard to catch them. I just got these new handmade mugs. There is an Etsy shop that makes these really cool thumbprint mugs. So I got a set of them with this brown. This is really cool. I made myself a brevet and Luke's planting the rest of the trees and I'm going to work on the laptop out here. and Penny have been being weird since yesterday. Penny has been so grumpy and she's been trying to headbutt Hilda and Hilda thinks she's trying to play with her so she jumps around and barks. But this is really good progress for Hilda. I've been leaving her loose, dragging her leash <clears throat> in with the sheep and the ducks and she doesn't chase them. If she does look too interested, I tell her to leave it and she listens really well. So I'm really happy with this progress. She also can't roam too far because there's an electric fence on the border that she's really afraid of. So I am like <clears throat> crazy happy with how good she does with the animals. So an update on the little lambs. I've seen the girl nurse twice since I've been sitting out here, which is awesome. The boy is the one that's actually just laying down and taking a long nap. So that must have been what she was doing earlier. So I am very relieved that it seems like she is really getting the hang of it now. So. I don't think they need any intervention. I'm just gonna leave them be and they'll figure it out. So I'm still gonna hang out out here because it's fun to watch them. And I cannot wait until one of the next sheep has their babies too. I bet Penny's due next because she looks absolutely massive. <laughs> she really needs to have them soon because she's probably so uncomfortable right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new little lambs and planting more trees. I should have another vlog out really soon and I have a few more other really exciting videos coming up so make sure you are subscribed and you have the bell notifications on for the channel so you know as soon as I upload a new video. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.